Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Game Pass and Play video here on the Budget Gaming Channel. My name's Mike and today we are playing Descenders. It's a BMX game about downhill racing, more time trials, so we're going to jump right into it. So when you first load up the game, you start in the shed. Uh, the shed allows you to see your inventory. Now, I haven't really played this much. I've only done the tutorial and I was filming another video and I forgot to hit record on my game capture. So. We're gonna do it again. I put on all the Xbox stuff. You can see there's goggles, handles, different kind of bikes, uh, t-shirts, pants, handlebars, which I still haven't unlocked one. It gives a symbol of a horn, but it's titled handlebar. So I don't know if maybe that means stuff that goes on your handlebar, like a, a bring, bring. Also a bike flag and hats. Now the hats do take over your helmet. Uh, I got this one when I was doing that recording before that I didn't actually record for uh, accidentally skipping a jump and it called me a chicken and gave me a chicken mask. So from here you can ride out here and it gives you a little free play area. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Skate 2, Tony Hawk's Skate 2. Um, there's all kinds of different like pits and stuff where you can do different tricks. And you can gain up your speed. And there's all sorts of different jumps. I'm going to try to get out of here. Let's see. Alright. Well, I died. Anyway, there's all kinds of different jumps around the free play area. Now, they do it in careers. So when you go to careers, you pick what session you want to do. So right now, I only have the Highlands unlocked. And it starts you off, and after this match, we will see a map, and I'll go over the map with you. So right now, it's loading. It has an average difficulty, and it has a bonus objective of do two backflips. So throughout this map, I need to do two backflips. And when you complete a bonus objective, it gives you an extra health. When you die, meaning you crash into something or fall off your bike, uh, you lose either one or two healths, depending on what level you're on. So I'm going to follow this path. Backflip. Nailed it. All right. We got some speed going. These checkered flags are checkpoints. I thought they were the end of the level in one level. Uh, so I stopped playing and it cost me a bunch of time. That time I didn't get to finish the backflip. I hit my tire on the ground, so it made me bail. See if I can do it this time. There we go. Much better. Now, when you go up on a ramp, you do have to bunny hop a little bit. And the way you do that is you pull down on the right stick and then you flick it up. I'm pretty sure that's the same in, like, Skate 2, most skateboarding games. Um, I'm not entirely sure. If you didn't know this, I don't BMX in real life. So... Most of these tricks and stuff look pretty easy to me, but I'm sure they're, like, super difficult in real life. If I were to get on a bike, I could probably make it down to the store on the corner of the street, and hopefully back. <laughs> so now I need to do two front flips on this map, and it says it has a lot of stunts. And the bonus challenges are different, not only for every map, but every time you race the same track, uh, it'll give you a different bonus objective. Coming up to a big ramp, we got some big speed. I'm gonna do a trick. Superman! I died. What a Superman. All right. So the animation when you do a trick is a little bit longer than what I thought. So it actually takes some time to get back on your seat. And I need to be doing front flips, not back flips. So, front flip. And front flip for style. Look at that. All right. So I'm going to try to do the Superman again on this jump. And I'm not going to hold it as long. There we go. I did a Superman. All right, let's see what other tricks are in here. The knack, knack, knack. 
No hander. That one I might be able to do. I can do that when I'm like just riding a bike. So in the air, I can't imagine it's going to be that much harder. If you actually do BMX, I applaud you because I've seen the amount of athleticism required to do BMX. And that's why I'm in my house playing video games. So now I did enough tricks to unlock a new crew member. Each crew member gives you a different perk and it looks to be random on which ones they give you to select. So I think I'm gonna go with the landing hard one. I believe the goal is to get to the boss over here. Can't really get my cursor over there. But, so I think I'm gonna go up. Get two near misses. I don't know what that means. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. Maybe it means the edge of a ramp going on the edge and like almost missing it. Or maybe it means going next to something that can kill you like a tree. Uh, nope. Not the first one. What if I actually do miss a ramp? But then it wouldn't be a near miss, it would just be a miss. So, what if I, uh, let's see. What if I drive next to one of these trees? No. Okay. There was a near miss. So I think what happened there was if I wouldn't have turned, I would have slammed into that wall. So there we go. It was the ladder. Boom. All right, two races down. I've got five health. Finish without letting go of the acceleration. So I can't let go of right trigger. Hopefully I don't crash into anything. Or get stopped when I thought I was recording the first time. I got stopped on a rock and I had to like bunny hop out of it. So I had to let go of the right trigger and it ended up costing me the bonus objective. Now if you notice, every time I do a trick, there's a green circle up in the left hand corner. I'll try to do one again. And it fills up every time I do something cool. And I believe if I fill all that up by the end of the race, I can get another crew member. Because it's right next to my other crew member that I already have. So we're gonna try to fill that up with with points. Do Superman. Ooh. Right, gain some speed. Hopefully there's more tricks coming up. And it doesn't look like it, so I'm not gonna get one this round. Wow, and I missed it right at the end. I was trying to slide into the finish line, and I completely forgot about letting go of my acceleration, and I put on the brake, and it took it off right at the finish line. You gotta love it. Construction site. I've never seen this one. Is it just a... Oh, we have to reach the top? Oh, boy. Well, that didn't do it. Okay. Um, let's see. Reach the top. Well, what's the top? Is that the top? I don't know if the top is on top. Oh, it's probably that flag up there. So I need to get up there. I need to get up here. 
which means I need to get uh, that. Which means I need to get up this. So I need to go up. I barely touched that wood and it killed me. All right, well, I'm not gonna go around all the way this time. I'm just gonna go right here. And I guess this is where I'm supposed to... Nope, not that one. Ah, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to do this one. Can I make it up there? Ah, okay. But then there's nothing off on this side. I hit a traffic cone. I'm pretty sure you can hit a traffic cone on a bike, and you'll be fine. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I almost did it again, and I would have been very upset. I tried to, like, double bunny hop there. It was almost successful. So, let's go slow, let's go slow. There was a gap. Insane. Well, I died. I didn't quite make it to the boss. Got a new shirt. So every time you start a new career, you start a new trial sequence like that with the map. And you always start on the first one on the left. So I can't go back and continue from that construction site truck. It just puts me out here, which is next to the free play area. So, uh, the boss is a boss jump. So on the one that I didn't record, uh, it was a ring of fire above a bridge that you had to jump through. But then you also had to not land as hard. So I lost like eight lives trying to do that. And then I finally made it through the hoop, but didn't land the other side. And I just kind of fell straight down. It was like the most lackluster thing I've ever seen. Um, extras? Let me see if it's in my replays. Nope, you have to save replays. Okay. Ten thousand. Hundred thousand reputation. So to do the career plus session, which gives you four new environments. You have to have a hundred thousand reputation. And like I said, this is like the third session of playing and I'm only at 1200 or 12,000. So not a lot. Well, that's pretty much it for Descenders. It's a short video this week. If you like BMX and you've actually done it, maybe leave a comment like that in the comments section. I would love to see who's out there doing cool things. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.